Hi guys, so today I'm gonna cover 2020 for DSC past paper, uh, paper 2, question number 8, that is covering uh, S3 concept actually only, but it's quite challenging. Let's get started. So my, pra my usual practice is highlight the uh, L1 and L2 with the different color first because you will easily mix them up. So first step, that would be about the change of subject, okay? So change of subject for having X plus AY plus B equals to 0, so we are going to change Y as a subject subject to have a y equals to mx plus c form okay so y and then we can find out equals to negative x minus b and then divided by a so from here we can find out their slope actually that would be negative 1 over a that would be their slope okay so the slope actually means negative 1 over a and we can see it is going up going up it means it will become positive number actually so if so then we can find out a actually is uh, so one negative one over something equals to positive number so a has to be actually a negative number okay then afterwards then we can do uh, the second equation l2 l2 here we can see uh, after we change the subject b x plus y plus c equals to zero so after we change the subject y equals to negative b x minus c so you can see their slope this time that would be negative b actually okay so our slope this time would be negative b so if it is negative b we are seeing the slope is going down going down it means the slope is actually negative so that would be actually a negative number then it means b would be a positive number okay so we can find out two um, two information here to identify a is a negative number and b is a positive number for doing uh, inequality easily later for uh, whether we need to swap the sign or not okay so let's carry on after we have two useful information and also we were going to use the y intercept as well okay so y intercept that would be negative b over a here so that would be our y intercept y intercept because c is a y intercept right okay y intercept so negative b over a we can see that would be a y intercept intercept and here means negative b over a would be this point from here negative c would be our y intercept and then we can find out the red line this point will be negative c so afterwards then based on this we can compare uh, part one see whether it's a smaller number or not so we can see this negative c is actually a positive number because this is on top of the um on top on top of here yeah because it's going up right and then we can say negative c would be a positive number so after we swap the negative side to the other side so divided by negative one then we will say zero divided by negative one then it's actually zero so c would be smaller than zero that is okay for part one so for the next part, how can we connect with negative C and also negative B over A here? We can see these two y intercepts, we can compare their magnitude and then we can find out that negative C is higher than negative B over A, right? So we can say it's larger than negative B over A. So next step, be careful, if we try to eliminate the negative sign, we need to swap their sign. So uh, divided by negative one, we are changing from larger side to smaller side, B over A here. Then next step, you can see part three is connecting with A, C smaller than B. Next step, we need to times A for both of the sign. Be careful, previously we find out that A is a negative number. So once we try to times A, and then we are trying to times A for both sides, then actually we need to we need to change the sign again. AC actually is larger than B. So that we can see part three actually would be incorrect. So right now, at this moment, then we can find out that number three is incorrect. And then it means only part A, uh, answer would be A. But I also want to explain why is A, B is smaller than one as well. So the information we are comparing would be connecting A and also B with the character. Okay, so how we were gonna do is we are comparing their slope actually. So you can see this slope would be the blue one, slope would be negative one over a. 
and we can see the red line slope and then it will become B so it, it is the only way that we can compare with the slope sorry negative B and then it's the only way that we are comparing the slope with um, with the man with the magnitude as well you can see this one is climbing up climbing up it means it has to be a positive number right if it's positive and then it has to be larger than this negative number for going down so part two how we can compare would be we are going to compare the slope for part two so part two here that would be comparing negative a one over a as positive number would be larger than negative b so that we are trying to do the inequality one more time slowly okay by comparing slope by comparing their slope one is positive another one is negative number okay then next step we are trying to uh, try to swap the sign in order to have a times b at the end okay so next step if i'm trying to put the a to the other side so i'm trying to times a for both part again what was a again a was a negative number so once you times a negative number swap the sign okay and then it means negative a times b that's okay and then if you want to eliminate the negative side as well so next step you're trying to divide it by negative one so negative one divided by negative one that will be one and then a b here and then next step trying to swap side again okay swap the side because you're going to change from smaller side to larger side okay then at the end you can see that means a b smaller than one then it means number two that would be also correct so answer actually it would be really a okay so that's it for the whole trick for this 2020 uh, paper two question number eight for doing uh, slope and y intercept and then by comparing the larger side and smaller side and then we are also learning that if it's climbing up and then it means a positive number if this red line is coming down then the slope would be actually a negative number and then we are comparing the magnitude of the y x uh, y intercept so that we are finding out one two three part in total thank you very much for watching hope you enjoy and be successful